This is the very essence of the RAC rally. It's little more than a part track, and yet 230 drivers will be fighting time, weather, and of course each other on 72 of these special stages, many of them as rough, as tough, as wet, slippery, and treacherous as this one. Look how sharp that one is. And all will be driven at unbelievable speeds, particularly when you realize that the driver doesn't know where the road is going until he gets there. And it's this that makes the RAC rally one of the most formidable events in the world. And this year, it's wide open. The cream of Europe's drivers are here. The winner, any one of a dozen drivers in any one of three or four different makes of car. But the man everyone will be watching is Ford's Timo Mäkinen, winner for the past two years and on for a hat-trick. Only one other driver's done that in 15 years. How are his chances rated by Ford Motorsport boss Stuart Turner? Very, I'd love to see Timo pull it off because I was Nothing. associated with Eric Carlson. I think Timo's taken over from Eric as the big man of rallying, the man of stature. It would be a marvellous thing for rallying for Timo to pull it off. But to win this rally now, three years running, that's one hell of a task. I, I'd like to think so, but really it's too much. The rally is won or lost on the 72 special stages. 14 of them on the first day, and among them, Harwood and Oliver's Mount. Roger Clark is clearly determined to repeat his 1972 win. Waldegard Stratos looking and sounding like a potential winner. Stig Blomqvist Saab, a menacing combination which won the rally in 1971 and came close to doing so last year. A young Finn tip for top international honours, Ari Vatanen's escort kept in the top ten throughout the first day but was to crash early on Sunday. Billy Coleman chasing vital points to clinch his second British Rally Championship as well as RAC honours. <laughs> Russell Brooks, one of the most promising British drivers and already looking impressive in his escort. 